Hey guys, how's it going? Today I'm going to be demonstrating how you can use a gaming PC for mining. So this one right here is running on a Ryzen 3900X CPU. And the CPU is being used to mine Monero. And furthermore, the GPU in the rig is of AMD Radeon 5700 XT. And this is used to mine Ethereum. So in the video, I'll be demonstrating the software I'm using to mine Ethereum with the GPU as well as how it's mining Monero with the CPU. Also, I'll be showing how much power it's drawing with the watt meter right here. And furthermore, I'll also be showing uh, the, the heat the rig is producing using a thermal camera right here. So without further ado, hope you guys enjoy the video. Thank you. Alright guys, so right here is a 12 core Ryzen CPU running at full load. It's averaging around 3.9 gigahertz. And you can see on the miner gate app there, it's mining Monero right now. The speed it's at is an average of 10.5 kilohash per second. In other words, with the current difficulty and price of Monero as of May 2021, the Ryzen CPU on this system is generating around 50 US dollars per month of income. Next up, you can see another application called Phoenix Miner running in the background, which is mining Ethereum. The GPU is fully utilized and it's mining Ethereum at around 55 mega hash per second. In other words, that's roughly the equivalent to 280 US dollars per month of income. So here you can see the MSI Afterburner application open, which is being used to overclock the video card. The Radeon RX 5700 XD has its memory boosted up to 1900 MHz. As a result, the mining performance is brought up by 10%, which as I mentioned brings it up to 55 mega hash per second when mining Ethereum. So below the desk, you can see a power bar with a power meter plugged into it. The rig has a direct connection and it's showing a reading of around 460 watts of power consumption. Based on BC hydro rates, that's equivalent to 90 US cents per day or 27 US dollars per month of power consumption cost. Even with that high power consumption, we configured the fans to be on silent mode, hence why you can barely hear it in the background when standing at this distance. So right here is a thermal camera showing the heat given off of various objects. You can see the PC right there has a lot of red spots mostly where the GPU is located, as well as around the CPU where the exhaust for the heat sink is. Despite Vancouver being known for having its dark and cold winters, without a doubt, it is apparent that this rig has done an excellent job at contributing to warm up this 2000 square foot house. So on the other side of the room is a dedicated Ethereum GPU miner. It consists of 6 NVIDIA Titan V video cards as well as one RTX 2070. 
Together that's mining at 455 mega hash per second at 1100 watts. So obviously that rig is in a league of its own. Recently I did post an overview video of this rig, so you're welcome to check it out whenever on my channel.